with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's meteorologist Eric Zarnitz. Well, a cold start to the day with temperatures in the teens and 20s here in the tri-state. Officially at the airport, we made it down to 25 degrees. That's two degrees shy of our record. So no record broken today, but still a chilly one. Take a look outside. You can see up here at Kings High School in Lebanon how we're starting to see a few high clouds build in from the west. And that's actually good news. It's going to help our temperatures out, not getting quite as cold tonight. The WLWT radar showing dry conditions all across the tri-state, so no flurries, no rain showers to talk about, but yeah, it's still on the chilly side. 46 degrees, our winds light at times out of the southwest, and our dew point down around 15. So our dew point nice and low, the winds are calm, usually that means a lot of cold air and a bitter cold night. But again, those clouds building in will really help us out. Most of us only dropping into the low 30s as we head into tomorrow morning, and because the air is so dry, I don't even think we're going to have too much of a frost problem. So you needed the scraper this morning, but you may not need it tomorrow. Temperatures again, 46 degrees, a little milder here in Cincinnati than it is in Mount Orb, 40 there. 42 Wilmington, 38 degrees in Harrison, 33 in Dillsboro, and uh, 45 degrees as you head a little further south to Aurora. So those clouds building in from the west, and again, they're going to continue to thicken up tonight. Eventually, the southerly winds will also help to warm us up. You're really going to start to feel those as we head into your Monday afternoon. Temperatures eventually kicking into the 60s. Then as we head into Tuesday, a few more clouds build in from the west, and this cold front's going to slice through the tri-state Tuesday night into Wednesday, and unfortunately, that's going to be the first of many rounds of cooler air building in. In fact, we may even have to throw a couple of flakes into the forecast as we head into Friday with some flurries, maybe even a few flurries next Sunday as well. That's still pretty far down the road. A lot can change, but keep in mind, colder by the end of the week. Don't get used to the milder temperatures on Monday. So starting off on Monday, 36 degrees. Yeah, chilly start. Plenty of sunshine. In fact, increasing amounts of sunshine as we end of the afternoon with a high of 60 degrees. All that helped out by those southwesterly winds. Future cast showing our clouds moving in tonight, giving us mostly cloudy skies. Tomorrow morning, we'll start off with a few clouds here and there, calling it partly cloudy or partly sunny skies. As we head through the day, increasing amounts of sunshine overall should be a pretty nice fall day. Then tomorrow night, some more high clouds build in. And on Tuesday, it'll be another mild day with temperatures starting off in the lower 50s, winding up in the mid 60s. But by Tuesday night, rain begins to overspread the tri state. Rain showers Tuesday night into Wednesday, and then that colder air is telling you about. So tonight, 33 degrees, partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, we'll make it up to 60 with mostly sunny skies by the afternoon. And your seven day forecast here it is warmer Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Temperatures gradually heading downhill until we're in the 40s by next.